Where am I? What is this planet? You are not my people! Alright, now get out. You served your purpose. No one wants to see the face again, alright? <laughs> <sighs> Always good to see the weekly return of, you know, Big Forehead Ryan. Just for that moment right there. And then he goes back to his treasure old life. Keep clapping, it's good stuff. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to another episode of Three Random Games. It is that game series where we go ahead and check out three random games from the internet all within the confinements of this one singular video. Yes! I haven't done that intro for a while, so getting the wording for that intro in my brain was so complex, man. Like the cogs, they were freezing up. However, one thing that shouldn't be seasoned up is your guys' ability to go ahead and smash that like button. So why don't you go ahead and do that good stuff? Let's get it, game number one. <laughs> This first horror game is called Estacio Libertad. I may pronounce that wrong, so let's see what Google says. That's pronounced Estacio Libertad. Close enough. All right, let's get this started then. So, let's stream this mess. Next stop, Liberty Próxima Station. Parada, Basically what I said. So, okay, we're on a train right now. Now, this game looking good. Some lens flares. Look how rapid this train moving. I mean, if a station's coming out, this thing about to put the brakes on, and I'm gonna go from here all the way to there. That was very boring. Every single day, I ate the same food, wore the same clothes, played the same games every single day. I was this kind of person. Dang, not the most exciting life. Liberdade B looks like we're one minute away from midnight. So when we're gonna arrive right there. It's about the time. Yo, did we miss the stop? We just go ahead and hit someone on the process. Uh, that ain't so good. So this door appears locked up. We can try and open it, but no one's there. I mean, hello? Yo, conductor! You there? This carriage is locked up! No response for the conductor. What about this? Do not lean on the doors? Hmm. I mean, there is an emergency thing. Wait, what is that? Like a key card or something? Will not grant us access through? So that door opens there. Let me try the reverse way. Wait, both opened up? Why is this carriage so lonesome? We've got more stuff down there. Now, this time we can actually pick that up. We do have a zoom feature, which again is something kind of interesting. Okay, there's another one right there. Something we can't read again. And so, what is this? All prepare for something. Hmm. All preparing for what, huh? Thanos' snap? Listen, 50% got cut down, man. Apparently, I wasn't one of them. But here I am, still taking the midnight subway train. For what reason? My phone's ringing. Or a phone within this carriage here, perhaps? I left the phone. Let's see. I assume that's like a ticking heartbeat or something. But I see. Where is the phone call coming from? Don't see it on this carriage. Show. Maybe one more up. Sounds like it at least. Unless the sound is shifting. Our eyes peel. Whose phone might this be, huh? What information might they give us? The next carriage again! The f Wait, it sounds back here. Um, listen. The phone is very close by. Is it on the floor somewhere, maybe? Right there. How the frig did I miss that? So, we'll pick this up. Let's see. Uh, des Jorge! Guys, my pronunciation is bad. Um... We got that ghostly raspy breath. Phone on 1% battery. This is a lot like the PT sound effects. And the call just cuts just like that. A lot of wobbling! Wait, okay, look around, look around, look around! Oh my god! <laughs> so the train just crashed right now! Get up, come on, man! We're still good. Right into a One day I died in an accident! A very stupid way to die. I'm not complaining. I would die in boredom if it wasn't for the accidents. Yo, that's a morbid way to see things, right? What the freak? This torch. Eyes, look at that! Ooh! What is it with people in these scenarios and having the weakest torches possible to existence, right? Okay, don't look up. Keep walking in a straight line. I'm not trying to look forward like this, you see? Can't capture anything. Lots of things. <laughs> Monster or the guy we were playing as? Like, I feel like I need some more context. We don't get no more context, guys. We don't get no more. <laughs> okay, guys, so this next game is called A Game About Literally Doing Your Taxes. Someone who has to do this myself, I'm about to see how accurate this is. Let's see what goes on then. Keep taxes right there. So we'll swipe left, Yay! just like so. Wow, coffee's amazing. I let my kids drink this coffee. No, nope. toss the trash. Get rid of that bull crap, man. Get the advertisement out of my face. More taxes. More taxes. Is being bold a choice? Get the freak out of here, man. More taxes. Taxes done. Why the freak aren't my taxes that simple? So the daily taxes, 
Let's see, I did eight. Nine taxes. Six throwaway things, and let's see, tax returns. Yo, that's racking up quite a lot, that bill. We're talking a five-figure sum, a 25K for one day's work. Nice. Let's go ahead and give it the signature. That looks about good to me. So, next day... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, I may have forged that signature right there, okay? I don't want to pay no taxes. Day two. Keep money. Get out of here. Look, I'm actually start getting some skills. That must be taxes then. So, tax again. Bills. Or maybe bills are taxes also. Oh, jeez, man. What a life. So, bills and also taxes. Just fantastic, right? Taxes done again for the second day. Let's see then. I feel like I discarded a couple of taxes and that might come back around as debt. So, I'm kind of concerned with that. 18 throwaway things though. A lot more creeping up. Though, look at the tax return. Only 20k at this time around, so 5k less. I can't complain. Perfect. Next day. Yo. The freak was that ghostly breathing right there. Uh, important. Taxes. IRS important. Look at this, man. I'm gonna try and get this on rapid lockdown. Let's see how well we can do here. Look at this. Faster. The freak. I think I just heard a voice. Again, there's like voices in the background. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna get this done nice and quick. There you go. So tax is done. Uh, good stuff. Nice, good stuff. Well done. 14 taxes, 16 throwaways, 36,000 for the tax as well. Okay, uh, and again, we're just gonna, uh, you know, let's get rid of that number, you know? They don't need to see none of that. Next day. Now, I did read that this game was in the horror category, so this is kind of interesting. Stamping it, doing it, what happens next? Yo, it's starting to get a little bit dark here. We've got no taxes by the looks of things on day four. It's just a load of junk mails. Yo, how about that free money then? Minus 4K. It's like a scam then, so none of this stuff is ever gonna be a benefit. So we may as well discard all of them. And foolishly, we fell victim to that one there. All right, so we incurred some debt because we were stupid enough to fall for that, so again, we'll just sign the signature. Now, let's go ahead and scribble out everything but the four. I mean, let's at least make them believe we're paying some tax still. What's that we get in this time? So bankrupt. About accurate. <laughs> so the next day though, it's daytime once again. A lot more junk mail, though, just stacking up. You've got to be really careful, though, with the stuff we do. Well, wait, actually, hold up a second. So, if we're saving money by doing taxes, that's a good thing, right? Like, I'm not sure if the negative is a bad thing in a situation or a positive. I'm going to keep this moving all the same. I suppose this probably isn't the worst thing. Get them checks over there, and the junk mail can go straight in the trash. Wait, that was talking about being watched, right? What the freak? Did it say do it right? I mean, strange conscience from above. Like I'm doing it as best as I can. Let's see the roundup. 23 taxes and 27 things. Tax returns. Oh, so that's a good thing, right? That's the profit that we get back from all of this mess. And we got to optimize. And it only took me five days to figure that out. Now, how about we just extend this figure a little bit more, you know? Let's put a couple of zeros on the end. Look at that good stuff, man. Super happy about this tax return. All right. Yes. That's a lot more positivity right there. So... Look at all these coffee mug stains, you know? Gotta make sure we optimize as best we can. I wonder if there's like different endings for this. Dude, we're on for that perfect slate for this day right here. Get rid of that. Focus on the taxes and also getting those bills coming through. Get that man, tax returns right there. I ain't gonna discard that. I, I discarded bills. Wait, hold up. Stop, did it say? Um, gotta finish my taxes, I guess. My calculator's zeroed out, so I assume I'm in decent money right now. <laughs> and down to the last of it. Good day's work. Um, there we go. My guy just standing up. What's done is done. Wait. Where's the sound gone? Um, does it even matter? We've been through this. Tax returns zero. Wait, it's calculating up. It's fluctuating. There is no set fee? Um, yo, what the freak is going on? This just took a dark turn. Who knew that doing your taxes could make you like this? Well, me actually. In game form? So what's the verdict? I don't know what he just said. Yo, I made 7.5k. Let's get it. Next day, we enter day seven. The cherry music no longer greeting us as we're about to return our taxes. Um, yo, I want to keep that for later. How do we know what's good and what's bad? These all have like eyes on them. Should I already be discarding them? It only looks like there's one letter at the bottom of the pile. May have messed up with this one, guys. I may have messed up. You know, I'm gonna keep throwing all this in the pile. We've gotta be whittling down through this, right? At least somewhat. Oh, looks at the end. It looks like things are definitely depleting the more we do this. So there is an end in sight. No, it's like an external force. I'm just dusting papers off. That printed with some ink. We're gonna open it? Do you really want to go back? What do you mean? Do I really want to go back? Yes or no? Um, circle in the box where it says yes, perhaps? Or I guess we did it. What the freak is going? Yo, this game just got dark. What is happening? I don't want to see that. 
Don't want to see that. Yo, I don't want to see any of this. Going back to sleep. All the stresses of life. It's like a good representation of how it actually feels. So get all this out the way. Yo, yes. dollar signs. Like, come on, talking about buying houses, getting some sleep, and then work. All the worries later on in life. Look at this. This is really interesting, okay? That one over there. I really don't know if there's any reason beyond why we would want to do this. We finished. Someone lets us in. Someone actually enters with us. They're coming in. So what's the verdict, huh? Taking some pills. Don't give me that bull crap. Scatter those! Get rid of them! He just drops us and closes the door. Listen, you know what to do with those pills. We discard them. No, we don't want them. I already chose that before the options were there. But... <laughs> is he laughing, like, maniacally? I have no idea. Producer sound design. What an interesting game. I mean, it's a game literally about doing your taxes. Fairly accurate, I'll give it that. Ah, even in the menu, it's fairly interactive. This game was made in just 48 hours, so thanks for being a good citizen and doing your taxes. We'll keep that one as a nice, friendly reminder. And that's literally it. Takes you back to the menu. Well, sweet. All you kids out there watching this, just enjoy the school life whilst you got it, okay? Next game. Now, this third and final game is called Janitor's Day. This is a game that was made in just one week, and we play the role of a janitor literally doing the night- Yo, I've been in here four seconds. Who the freak is my guys? You watch too much Blair Witch, my dude. That's all I'm saying. So pick up mom. He's telling us to do it, so that I shall do. Let's see the to-do list. I'm up the bathroom floor. Clean the gum out of the vent. I don't ask how it got there. Okay, won't. Check the basement for rats. Simple objectives. Let's open the door. Before I go out, hold up. Close the door. This is my office. This is Strange Blair Witch Guy. Adida. Noah, all on my own, right? Oh boy. Yeah, let me just double check that camera feed real quick. Is the guy still there? And of course he's gone. Got a red light pointing this way too. So, he must have gone this way. Room 100, right at the far end. So the door is locked. Maybe I should be happy about that. Something doesn't seem right, because my guy definitely didn't run down that way. Nope. We check all the doors as we go. Room 101 locked. 102, let me see. No. Nope. Also locked up. Room 103. Okay! Knock the door. You're not alone right there. But he might be talking to the walls by the sound of things. It's just the back in soundtrack. Don't focus on it. Okay, so the bathrooms. This was definitely one thing we had to do in the men's. I swear I'm hearing things, so mop up the puddle, keep going. And that's all that done. Next objective then was to actually climb into the vent, so let's see if we can do that. Wait, wait, hold up a second. We got bubble gum on the vent covers right there. Like, these dudes flicking it whilst they're taking that turd, you know? Probably downloading that app, seeing how much they're getting paid for the craps they take. Maybe I can reach it with the brew. It's that one done there. Just double check the coast looks fairly clear. Scrape that one as well. So you picked up a piece of bubble gum. Absolutely incredible. You get rid of that one there. There's one more just there, so that's all five. Perhaps there's some more. Seems like there might be. Looks like we're pretty much good. I love how that says vent question mark too. Yo, we upped and outed, so we gotta collect all of the bubblegum that's been up here. Someone's been busy, and who quite clearly likes that green bubblegum flavor, right? Eh, give me that one. Let's see, it's one of the ceilings. I didn't miss any. We keep moving on through. What are we about to see though? This is the strangest job as a janitor I've ever seen someone take. So, can look down there, nothing out of the ordinary. Scrape that. Also scrape that. Oh crap. What about if this leads to like room 100? Also 103. Now those are two rooms I don't want to see anything from. Bubblegum seems to stop here though. Gonna open the vent. See, the vent is stuck. Maybe I'm glad about that to be honest. Well, seeing as the vent still looks like I will be living one more day at least. Maybe we go the alternate way then. Where might this lead us? Let's see. There's another vent cover. Slightly broken. I can reach down, pick up the screwdriver from within that room, but what even happened here? My dude is in there. What is he doing? Like, either he's got those AirPods in listening to music, or I think he's actually lost it. Okay, we're gonna leave you to it. And I guess we're gonna go the other way. Someone else is getting in the vent! Keep crawling, keep crawling. Let's open the vent. Yo, we get the freak out. Use the screwdriver. Thank goodness. No, 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 no. I can't close it. No way. Open the door. Yo. Surely I'm the only one here, right? Apart from the strange dude. Storage room. I really hope so. This is actually freaking me out a lot. You guys already know how I feel about these office horror games. Wait, exit. Okay, can't even spread. Doesn't matter. The freak out. Get out! I don't know if someone was moving back there. Or if there was like a different way we could have took, because I did see another red door. Keep looking back as you go down these stairs. We already know someone was in here with us. Pick up the pace, mama. He's coming down. Yo, keep running! This is actually freaking me out a lot. What the heck is going on? Through here. Okay, that door's locked. Please be open. Oh!
Um. Wait, 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 hold up a second. Happy birthday. What do I want to say? Okay, let me close the door behind us. This is so unusual. This is really freaking me out, and I don't know why. So I'm looking like mom had quadruplets or whatever they call them. Go ahead and slice the cake. Uh. Uh, okay, yeah, you know what? I think I'm done for today. All right then guys Well, that was another episode of three random games and hopefully you guys did enjoy that one three very very unique games That first game was pretty unique with the graphical style and I guess the PC feel it went for the game also about doing your taxes Very very accurate gotta say as for janitor's day That was very different from what I was expecting but at the same time I'm not disappointed so three pretty cool games all in all But if you guys did enjoy this video why not drop me that like rain and hey if you're new around here Why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video guys I of course hope you did enjoy and I will of course see you on the next one.